So here we are. Um, doves and pigeons love old abandoned human spots. So this is an abandoned uh, lumber mill. And we know there's a lot of birds because there's pigeon poop underneath those old abandoned wires. And so we're gonna set up and try to get underneath um, the lines and see if we can get some birds flying today. Hey, Finn. Finn, Finn. We're going hunting today, girl. Are we going hunting today? This is our number one battle. She wants to stand on the console and then she licks my ear or she blocks my view so I can't drive. So our compromise is she sits with her head on the console and kind of pouts while we're on the way because she wants to go hunting. She doesn't understand how long it takes to get there, do you, girl? It's all good, baby. You gotta be patient. We're here. Now, the whole goal with this is, like I've said a hundred times, pure joy. Look how excited she is. Anyway, we just get here. No birds yet because it's middle of the day. But I need to make sure that she's cooled off and we find a good mud hole or a water spot so that she knows where and how to cool off today. So, come on, girl. Come on. Okay, so part of the way to keep the dog cool, I've already found a water hole for her so she can get wet, is um, take the tarp down and then I can create shade for her. There's good breeze today. So I know if I do this right, the dog's going to be comfortable all day and not get warm. So that's the goal with all of this stuff. And uh, I'd rather have an easy setup that's really quick. But to make sure your dog is comfortable and having a good hunt is much more important than me worrying about wasting five or ten minutes setting up. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so the decoys um, are kind of a pain in my backside, but you'd be amazed. Like, there's a lot of pigeons here and doves. So when you set them up and they, um, the wings start flapping, the birds can see them from a half a mile away. It's amazing how often they'll just get attracted to it. This is the holder. And put that in, screw that in the ground, and then you can add a lot of decoys to it. So let's find a spot. So what I'm trying to do is set up the decoys with the spinning wing because the pigeons have a lot of white on their underwing and they see it from a long ways away. So when you set the decoys, you're hoping to take the focus from the hunter to the spinning wing decoy and get all their focus there. And it's amazing how well it works unless they get educated to it because the animals direct associated learners, meaning if they find out their buddies get shot over the decoys, then they're a lot more leery of decoys the next time. But anyway, this thing will go up six or eight feet, and it's sort of a man-made version of a telephone pole. Okay, these are Dakota decoy spinners. And the birds can see these from, honestly, a half mile away. And that makes them think there's food to be had when they come in looking. We're used to those, aren't we, girl? You don't even pay attention. Okay, so this one's going in to look like a bird that's going into the ground feeding, landing on the ground feeding. And these two are going to go in. And it looked like they've already had something to eat. And now they're lighting on the pole with their buddies. And then probably do one more over here.
Here, girl, come around. Right, sit. All right, so we got our whistles. In case I need to get Finley's attention. These are our bird bags. But they're also, put your shells in here. I shoot 12 gauge, seven and a half it does, just so I can reach out a touch further and get them. And, get the gun girl, so we got something to shoot at. My Benelli Super Black Eagle 2 with the shot cam. So you guys can see if I hit something or not. All right. Bring the gun. First in the chamber, close it up, safety on. Two in the magazine. Are we ready, girl? A little early, I don't think they're flying yet. All right, we will go. Good. So the whole setup is, it's so hot in Maryland during dove season. I want the dog to be cool, so that I have the tarp up. I always park the truck into the prevailing breeze so that she can cool off when she pants. And the rest is just a setup I always wanted to have. Truck bolt so I can store all my gear right when it's ready. Camper, we're set. Um, we can camp anywhere in a moment's notice. And then obviously we're in the shade this afternoon while we're waiting for the birds to fly. And then if you follow the truck, you can see how we set this up with the tarp. So she's shaded, she's got water and all the way around back to the decoys. And it's been a good setup through the years because the, the birds like to light, light on these old uh, power lines too. So um, this time of day, it's now 1.15. They're not flying yet, but uh, hopefully they'll show up in about an hour, hour and a half. All right, girl, we ready? So Finley, Finley's like a second or third grade kid. It always works best if they know that's their place. That's where they do their work. And she knows now that when we're sitting there, we mean business. So she has to behave herself and wait and watch and hope some birds come by. Okay, what are we shooting today, girl? Uh-huh. Well, um, this is an abandoned sawmill, and the owner hates pigeons. They are the same pigeons you see in the city. I call them rock pigeons. Um, they're actually an invasive species from the old world. You see them in every city in the world. Uh, anyway, the pigeons that poop everywhere, and that's why the owner of this place hates them because all of his outbuildings get covered in poop and pigeon feathers. And there's also a lot of morning doves that run around here too. So that's what we're after today. Um, we already got a couple of pigeons, didn't we, girl? That's a good start. Okay, so, you know, it's a long time sitting for a dog, let alone a human. So, it's like 1.35 now. What I'll do is if we don't have any action by 2, I'll take her over there so she can get wet and swim. And then we'll circle around those old buildings, see if there might be a pigeon inside that we can hunt up. And then come back, J just so that she's still a young dog and I want to make sure she's always having fun. But the other side, she's on her place board, so she has to do her work, too. But it works out pretty well. And I, I love the fact that we have the tarp and the shade, so she can sit here. She's already wet, so she cools off. She can pant, and there's a breeze coming into our face. So I know she's going to have a really good day, just from the fact that she's not overheating. Fetch him up, girl. Fetch him up. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird. She saw him go down out there. She's not just not quite sure. Good girl. 
There you go. Good. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Come around. Come around. Hand, 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 hand. Come on. Come hey, on. Come on. Hand, hand, hand. Hand, hand. Good. Good. Action. Good. All right. We just had a great retrieve. What's the best way to cool her off after good work? Hold on. Hold. She had such a fun day when if she can get a retrieve and that heats her up, but then get a quick swim, then she's happy. And then she tries to steal my birds. That's my bird. You know that's my bird. You know how at home she wants to keep the tennis balls? Out here she wants to keep the birds. Good girl. My bird. Hand. Good. Good girl. So that last bird girl, you did so well. What did you do? I saw birds here and I called Mark and she watched them and then they circled right there saw the decoys and came back and I hit the first bird there but it was about halfway back and then as the bird crossed I, I put a better shot on the front third of the bird and it dropped at about 50 yards and the whole time what did you do you didn't move you watched that's what we call steady and then you knew exactly where the bird fell, and you stayed, and you watched until I released you, and you got the bird and brought it right back to me. That is a lot of hard work and training, but that's the best of her. Uh, especially, she's got her place board, so she knows we're working now. And that was great, wasn't it? We just need more action, don't you? Find a bird. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. It's out there. Find a bird, girl. Oh, shit. I hit that one hard, too. You're a tough bird. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. There you go. Good. Good girl. Good. Get her coming in. Good girl. Good girl. Hand, hand, hand. Good girl. All the way. Hand. Oh. She got the dove and the pigeon at the same time. Get a picture of that. That never happened. Come around, girl. <laughs> she loves doubling up. Back. 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 
girl. Back. Back. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird, girl. Back. Back, girl. Back. Might have to help her with that one. Good girl. Hand, 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 hand. Hand. Good. Come around. Good. And good girl. My bird. Dad. My bird. Good. Oh, she didn't see that. Here, girl. Come around. Where is she? Here, girl. Good girl. Good. Place, 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 place. Place, place, place. Here, girl. Got you up. Come on. Hand, 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 hand. Place, 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 place. Good. Good. Come around. Place. Good girl. There you go. Good. My bird.
girl. Oh, you did it. You did it. That was not easy. Sometimes they're really tough to find because they're what you call air wash. Good girl. Oh, you did so good. Oh, you did so good. Come around. Push. Push. Come back. Push. Good. Atta girl. I bird. I bird. I bird. Okay. Okay. Bing. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. Good. Good girl. Place. 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 Come here. Up. Place. Good. That's my girl. That's my girl. She got hot and she's mouth breathing. So depending on the dog, if they're breathing through their mouth, they lose 90% of their ability to scent. Whereas if she's cool, she can take all the air through her nose. So by me not keeping her cooled off, it makes her much less efficient bird dog also, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find this bird and then I'm gonna let her jump into the cold water and cool off so that she has a better time and we're, we're more efficient out in the field, right? Come on, girl, heel. Sometimes when you got a dog working, Shana, you let him be a dog. I don't think she's going to find that very much. She's going to learn to try. But she had her eye on it. No bird, girl. No bird. Don't gas yourself out. Come here. Come on. No bird. Place. Place. Here, girl. Good thing. Good girl, come on. Place. Place. Come around. Ah, go for it. Bing. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. 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 Good girl. Good. Perfect. Good girl. All the way. Come around. Come around. Oh, you did so good. Come around. way to do
Good girl. Look at you. Well, yeah, my bird, my bird, my bird, my bird. Good. Good girl. Can't pull it. Falter for those because otherwise that bird's not going to get found. Probably. Good girl, Finn Finn. Good girl. Good girl. All the way. Push. Good. Oh, that was good girl. Good girl. My bird. Okay, we're done. That's a wrap. Boy, oh, that's a big adult bird, too. We like that. Good girl. Good. My bird. Good. All right. That is a great Saturday. Thank you to Bryn for being my photographer. How'd you do? Huh? You did great. So, that's a limited doves, which in Maryland is 15 doves. And we got six big pigeons. So, we got 21 birds this afternoon, huh? And you're still watching them, like that one coming in right there. Good girl, you got a good eye, huh? Anyway, uh, I hope you got some great footage. I hope you saw some great retrieves. And there was some poor shooting and some really good shooting. So I'm hopeful that you got a little of both. Anyway, great day, girl, great day. Isn't that why we do it? Isn't that why we do it, huh? Just remember, these dogs are about joy. Joy, nothing else. Don't sweat the small stuff. You did awful good. We'll get them next time, okay? Okay.